Hi, welcome to the third part of the Spur Gear Housing in SolidWorks 2024. Let's hide those solids here. And I want to go for a 2D sketch, not a 3D sketch. So let's go for a sketch on the front plane. I will need two points, one, two, like that. And the distance between that plane and this point should be 57.5. And the distance between those two points should be 100. And this distance should be 85. Finish that sketch. Now another sketch again on the front plane. And I want to use those two points. So I could bring them in like that, for example. First one, confirm. And let's put a circle right there. And the diameter should be 112. Finish this sketch. Add another one. Sorry, happens. So on this plane again, another sketch. Bring in that point and go for another circle. And again, that diameter should be 112. Finish this sketch. Now, let's make an extrude and see if we can limit it with those planes. That should be possible, at least for the first ex and second extrude. So go to Features, go to Extrude to Space, select that circle here, and this should go up to a surface in the first direction. And that surface would be the 72 plane or the 62.5 plane. I don't recall, so it should be the 62.5 plane. This one here. And in the other direction, it should go also up to a surface, and that would be the minus 62.5 plane. Yes, and confirm. So that's a new solid. Now we can add this one to that one, or we can do two solids. Doesn't really matter in this case. So go for another extruded post space. But we would have the option up to surface, yes. And this should go up to surface as well. So that surface would be again 62.5 plane. Oh, that's the wrong one. That should be the minus 62.5 plane. And this should be the 62.5 plane. That one. And now we could merge the result or not. But I want to merge it. Great. Let's hide that solid here. Now another sketch, again on the front plane. And I want to bring in both those points. Confirm. Let's draw a construction line like that. This should be for construction. OK. Now I need a rectangle, and I could go for a centered one. And this should be here 
on the midpoint. So, like that. And the dimensions are 205 by 90. So, this should be 205. And that distance should be 90, like that, and finish that sketch. Now let's bring in that body, because I have to have an offset from this extrude to that extrude of 2.5 millimeter okay let's go for an extruded post space select that sketch on this one here and i want to go for a new body so i don't want to merge the result okay and we can go offset from surface that's it for the second direction as well go for offset from surface so let's see if we have to go for a, a positive value or for a negative value maybe show that plane and that would be in this case the 62.5 plane as before and there you have the offset and we can we can reverse the offset so i want to go for 2.5 offset That looks okay, yes. And this should be another offset from surface, and that would be the minus 62.5 plane. Okay, and the offset should be 2.5. Yeah, that looks really good. So let's confirm this. Great. And that's really nice. Now maybe hide those two solids as well now for the next one i have to go for the top plane so let's put a sketch on the top plane that would be a centered rectangle like that and the dimensions are 100 by 50 by 50 great finish that sketch and that should be an extrude which goes up to the topmost plane and that would be this one here okay so go for another extrudable space with that sketch here that down below this one here okay not with an offset but it should go up to the surface and that surface would be as stated before on this one here and confirm great maybe bring back all those solids so obviously my sketch was to the wrong plane no harm done so let's edit that sketch that would be that one here which is not fully constrained that's amazing so let's edit this one and i will have to hide the solids in order to make it clearly so that distance should go to this plane that's wrong so that's easy to fix. Just do it like that. And this should be 85 millimeter. That looks okay. Finish that sketch. And my model should update. Yeah, that's more like it. And 
Next sketch will be on this plane here. Okay, let's hide those solids again. And I want to go for a sketch on the right plane. Yet it turned around, so my L shape has to go to this side. Or I go over here, so it would be to that side, yeah, which means it goes. So I've just lost the orientation. So let's bring back those bodies. That's kind of odd. Yeah, like that. Yes, hide them. Again, now I'm done. So, this should look like sort of an L shape. Maybe like that. Let's draw it over here. Okay. Let's add a dimension over here for scaling. That should be 30. And this one should be 70. And this one should be 40. And that distance here should be 15. Yes. Now I need as reference that plane here, so just make it visible. So this line and that plane should be collinear. Okay. And that point and this point here should be aligned vertical. Great. Finish that sketch. And this should be an extrude with an offset again. And that offset should be from the 135 plane plus 2 millimeter. Okay. So let's go for an extrudable space, select that sketch here, it's already selected. Go for offset from surface. The surface would be in this case this one here. And it should be so reverse the offset. It should be two millimeter more, yes, great. Second direction, same thing. It should go up to now this plane, so go offset from surface, select the 135, the negative one, and go for 2 millimeter offset and reverse the offset. So it's 2 millimeter more. Is it? Yes, it is. That's okay, so that's 2.5, but it should be 2 millimeters. So let's go for 2 millimeter here as well and confirm. Great. Now I want to add a full round fillet, so go for fillet and that's the full round fillet. Go for the first face, the top face, and the last one, and confirm. Great. Let's bring back all those solids. Looks good. And that, I will touch that problem later on. So. I hope this was helpful. Hope you liked it. If you did like it, please give it a like or leave a comment. If you want to see more, please give it a like or leave a comment. Please subscribe to my YouTube channel. That would really help. You could follow me also on GrabCat, Facebook, Instagram, X, 
and many more, especially on LinkedIn. So thanks for watching. See you to next one. Bye bye.